Hello everybody, Laszlo here and welcome to my Space Invaders tutorial series. Now, fair warning, this is a intermediate level tutorial and if you haven't done the Pong or the Block Breaker tutorial series, I highly recommend you check those out first. Um, so let's just, let's jump right into it. Um, let me show you what we'll be building. Give it a second to load here. Um, here's the game. Let me just enable sounds as well. It might get a little bit loud, but there are sound effects in the game. So as you can see, let me just play it for a second. Alright, so that's a quick preview. Um, as you can see, let's just quickly walk over the components of this game. So we've got some kind of uh, scorekeeper up here, which, which has our score, our high score, and our number of lives. We've got, um, looks like three different types of aliens. So we've got, um, they're worth different points as well. Let me just demonstrate that. So was that dying, of course. So the bottom ones give me 10 points. And the ones give me 20 points. I want um, 10 to 30. I'm gonna try and hit one of the top ones. Let's try again. There we go. So I want um, 80 or 60 to 90 points, that's 30 points. So there's different point systems based on who you're shooting. We've got some sort of barrier here. We've got our hero. Of course, you've got bullets flying out from the bad guys and the good guys. We've got uh, this kind of explosion effect. And down here, we've got some kind of tutorial that tells you how to play. And then, of course, we have a game over screen, which must have some kind of object, probably listening to a uh, space press to restart the game. So um, that's the game. I'm going to quickly make some notes. Um, just close this. And let's make some notes um, on um, what all these components are. So this will guide us on our actual journey to making this game. So um, let's start with the title. This is like my version of Space Invaders. I did skip the menu. I didn't feel it very necessary to have a main menu. Um, I know Space Invaders has a two player mode. I didn't really spend enough time to figure out what two player is in this game. But since I'm only doing one player, I'm figured one, uh, I don't need a main menu. I can just jump right into the game. So I can say um, we have two rooms. Uh, the two rooms are the game and the game over. We have, um, what else do we have? So number two, let's list all the objects. So the objects that um, I noticed in the game were uh, some kind of controller. I'm just gonna put this in brackets. It's a game controller. I don't mean like a controller that you play on. I mean like a game controller that controls the flow of the game. We've got bad guys. or I should say aliens. And I noticed there were three of them. So we've got, um, I'll just say three. We've got uh, bullets. And there's two of those. We've got a good one and the bad one. And then we also have, um, we have our hero. Uh, what else do we have? So controller, bad guys, bullets, hero. We have a, a platform. So platform is those uh, barriers that you saw uh, just above my character. They kind of protect you from being shot, but they do take damage. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and of course we have the um, game over object. We have the instructions. And um, let me just think, was there anything else that we had? Nope, I think that's it. So, so these are all the objects we need to build. Um, this time I'm not gonna go into all the details of how I think each object needs to work because um, I'll do that once I start building the game. Um, so with that, I think we can jump over into Game Maker. 
and do a quick project setup. Uh, let me just start up Game Maker here. So I'm going to make a, a new project. I'm going to use Game Maker language once again. I will call this, let me just put it on my desktop here. Let's call it Space Invaders. Just like that. And save. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make all these uh, resources. So I know uh, I can go back to my whiteboard quickly. So I need, um, let's start with sprites. I usually like to start with sprites because um, they're they don't take a lot of thinking. You can just start making sprites right away. Uh, so I need three sprites for my bad guys. I need one for my bullets, one for my hero sets. One, two, three, four, five. I need one for platform six. Um, and I don't think any of these other ones need sprites. So I need about six sprites, I believe. If you need more, we can always add more. So I'm gonna go up into the top corner here, click the plus sign move up to six sprites and then click on where is it sprites and then click create okay so I've got six sprites oops where did that go so this might happen to you um, you can see my sprites got created in the wrong location I can click on them and I can actually drag them and drop them into the sprites folder um, there's this new game maker system that they just released um, back in September uh, you can actually put your resources into any folder you want. So sprites don't necessarily have to sit in the sprite folder. Um, okay, so my first sprite I'm going to name oh bad guy one um, Also another thing you might have noticed when I was playing this game was that this is a very... The graphics are very pixelated. And I did that on purpose. I was trying to recreate something that's from the past. Um, so back in the day, they didn't have high resolution games. So I wanted to make this game be low pixel. So, um, and they'll also make creating the art fairly easy for this. Um, so I'm gonna change the size of my sprite from 64 by 64 to 16 by 16. So that's very low pixel. Um, so there's my bad guy one. I'm also probably gonna set the um, anchor point to be middle center and then um, what else am I going to do? Actually, I'm not going to worry about anything else. So there's my bad guy one. Bad guy two. Also, please note that I do spend some time naming these things very carefully. So there's bad guy two. Also middle center. And I just caught something. I named this one incorrectly. This should be S bad guy, not O bad guy. There we go. I need S bad guy three. Also gonna change it to be 16 by 16. Also gonna set it to be middle center. Perfect. And then I'm gonna make one, or well, I'm done with my bad guys. I need to make the hero. So I'm gonna call it S hero. Also gonna set it to be 16 by 16. Everything's gonna be really small in this game. Also set this to be middle center. Okay. And then what else? We need a platform. So S. Platform. Now, for the platform, it does have that shape. But if, if you guys watched carefully, you would have noticed that as the bullets were hitting it, only parts of the shape were breaking. So um, what, to tell, what that tells me is that the platform isn't actually one big sprite. It's made of a whole bunch of tiny sprites. Um, in this case, it's a whole bunch of tiny little squares. So I'm going to create the platform slightly differently than uh, what we had or what you you might have in mind i'm gonna make it very tiny two by two it's just gonna be a single pixel on that one i'm not changing any uh, the, the origin of it um so that's the s platform and then finally we need one more sprite this one is the um bullet so s bullet and once again you kind of have to think about how big should this bullet be um you don't want it to be as big as your bad guys or your good guys. You want it to be a little bit bigger than the platform. 
um, I'm gonna go with two pixels wide. I'm gonna uncheck maintain aspect ratio so I can put different values in here. I'm gonna put six pixels for height. Uh, there's my bullet. And actually just thinking about the number of sprites, we need one more, which I forgot to mention, which was our um, explosion. So let's call this S explosion. And the explosion I think can be just as big as the bad guys or good guys. Maybe not, maybe a little bit smaller. Let's make it 12 by 12. There we go. And the explosion can be also middle centered and good. So I've got all my sprites set up. I will need to go back and, and spend some time on drawing these. Um, let's go now create the objects. So for objects, um, it'll be very similar to what we had for sprites. So let's uh, click actually a plus sign. Let's just create a bunch of objects. I'm going to say we need probably 10 objects. Um, objects and create. Okay, so starting with the very first one. Um, I'm going to go with my bad guys again. So I'm going to have a bad guy one. Um, at this point, you can actually go ahead and assign the sprite for it. So sprites bad guy one. So can be O bad guy two. Let's assign the sprite for it. Perfect. Bad guy three. Once again, assign the sprite for it. And if, if you guys know how to do this, you can you know fast forward through the video to the point where you see all my objects completed. Um, here's one that I did not talk about too much. But uh, all the bad guys are probably going to behave very similarly. So I'm going to need a bad guy parent. Uh, any code that I put in here will be uh, active in all three of my bad guys. It just saves a lot of time when you do this um, parenting thing. So I'm going to have a bad guy parent. Now the parent object won't actually be in the game or in, in the game that you're playing. It's just behavior that the other ones will uh, follow. So that's why it does not have a sprite. So I've got my bad guy parent. Um, now let's move on to... Uh, Bullets. So we got two types of bullets. We got oh, bullet. Good. Also notice that I put the object first, or like like the classifier for this first, which would be bullet, and then whether it's good or bad as the second part of the word. That way it'll be um, they'll be side by side, and I know that they're both bullets and have very similar behaviors. Uh, for this one, I can set the sprite to be. S bullet. Um, let's do this one here. I'm gonna name this one um, O bullet bad. Once again, gonna set the sprite to um, bullet. Okay, so we got our bullets. Now we need our hero. So hero, there we go. We can go ahead and sign the sprite for that one as well. Perfect. And then, what are we missing? We're missing the platform. So, oh, platform. We can assign the sprite to this one as well. And then, um, what else do we add? Game controller, this one's very important. Every game should have a game controller. Just like that, game controls don't have sprites generally, so no sprite needed there. And then we've got one more object here. Let's make this one. Um, oh, we're missing explosion, so object explosion. Now I think the explosion can be shared between the good guys and bad guys. It's, it's the same explosion, so I'm not gonna create separate objects for those. I've assigned a sprite for it. Um, I think there were a couple more, so let's just make another one. This one will be instructions, object instructions. So when we were playing the game, you notice there were some instructions in the bottom right corner. I used an object to create those. Um, I could have also used the sprite. It's totally up to you which one you prefer. Um, so there's instructions. The reason I chose instructions uh, to be an object was if I decide to change the font of the game, um, then it's using a print function or a draw, draw text function. And then if I update the font, it'll update the font on this object too. Um, anything else? I think there's one more we're missing. So I'm going to make one more. This one is the game over object. This is the one that listens to um, 
or it kind of shows you that it's game over here's your score and also when you press the button it um, takes you back to the first room so there's that i think that's everything so that's all my objects um now if you guys listen carefully there were also some sounds so let's add the sounds to the game so i'm going to click the plus sign again i can add some sounds so there's a shooting sound there's an explosion sound there's a uh, getting hurt sound there's music and there's game over and there's also a step like uh, stepping through the game so i think that's six different sounds let's add six sounds create perfect and then let's start naming them so when i name sounds um since they share the same starting letter with sprites i like to do s and d lowercase and then i'm gonna go uh, let's just start with explosion this one will be um uh, music remember music and sound effects are the same type of resource in game maker um s and d um, ouch so that's when i get hurt s and d um shoot so this is for shooting uh there's gonna be one that's like stepping through the game so s and d step um what i mean by that is if you watch carefully the the, the aliens in in um, space invaders they don't move smoothly they they kind of jump from position to position and every time they jump you play this step sound and there's one last one which is i believe the game over sound game over okay so we've got all of our sounds we've got all of our objects all of our sounds all of our sprites um, the last thing we really need to do is do a setup for um, we need a font so let's do the font quickly create a font um, I'm gonna call this one F and then GUI for GUI uh, graphical user interface and um, I think I'm gonna this one's very easy to configure right now so let's just do that quickly because everything is so low resolution I'm gonna set the resolution to or the font size to be eight I'm gonna try and find the console font I think that's um, what the game will look good in this old school game uh, there's a font called consolos and um, yeah perfect if you turn anti-lacing off I think it'll look even more um, old school so let's turn that off so my font is done and the last thing I need is my rooms um, if I double click my room my room one you'll notice that it's, it's a pretty big room and if I start putting these tiny little sprites like this room right now has a grid system of 32 by 32 um, if I start putting my little sprites in here they'll take up a quarter of one of these little boxes which is too small um, and um, so I need to change the size of this um, of this game and I think what I'm gonna go with I was playing around with this a little bit earlier I wanted to have a width of 340 so you can see how much smaller that is already or sorry 304 and then a height of 200 so right away you can see my room has changed and become much smaller uh, now just because a, a room is smaller doesn't mean that you can still build the same game in it um, now the one thing to to pay attention to and i can actually show this to you so if, so if you were to click play right now and i'm doing that to show you this um, this is what you get you get a tiny little window now this window is too small to um, well you could leave it at you could leave it like this if you like uh, but for me it's too small to play the game I still want my low resolution graphics to um, be to stay low resolution but I want to have a bigger window so this is a new um, concept which I don't believe I've spoken before about which are called viewports and cameras so we can go down to the room open the viewports and cameras click on enable viewports and then click on viewport zero and make it visible so if I zoom out uh, what this um, white um, rectangle represents is a camera uh, this is what the, the game camera is trying will try to show you now obviously this camera is way too big so I'm going to change the size the width and the height of the camera to match the width and the height of the room because um, 
this is an arcade game so the camera doesn't have to move around so i can change this to the same numbers i believe it's 304 for width and 200 for height perfect you can see now it matches the size of the room um, now the other problem is if i play the game again um, let me just demonstrate that so now if i play the game all of a sudden my game takes up much more space perfect but you have to remember that um, <clears throat> the way cameras and viewports work is the game takes the camera and then spreads it out to take up the size of the viewport on your screen. And if these numbers down here uh, don't have the same aspect ratio as these numbers, that just means um, they're not perfect multiples of these numbers above them, then the game's going to get stretched in some way. So let's make sure they're the same. Um, I'm just going to multiply both of these numbers by 3. So 300 times... Um, 304 times 3 is 912, and then 200 times 3 is 600. There we go. So my room at this point is set up. Uh, I'm going to need two rooms, one for the game, one for game over. So I'm just going to right-click on my room and click Duplicate. And now I've got my room 2. It should have brought over all the camera settings, so that's all good. And at this point, I believe I've got everything that I need for my game. So... Let's save, and I will see you guys in the next video where we start um, going over our sprites and our sounds and so forth. So forth. Thanks for watching.